Hey everyone, this is Kyra from Kyra Mioso 29. Today's video is going to be all about my top 5 favorite makeup brushes. All of them, except for one, are from Sigma Brushes. It just happened out that way. Usually, actually almost all my brushes are Sigma Brushes, so that's not really a surprise to me. But I'm going to start out with face brushes first. Actually, a majority of these are face brushes too. So, the first one is something that I use almost every day. Um, it used, I used to use it every day that I would wear makeup before I got my beauty blender but now I got my beauty blender and I just love it to bits. I have the beauty blender. I recently bought it. I am in the process of trying to put together a review for you guys so I can let you know if it's worth the hype, if it's worth the money, but that's besides the point. I'm going to put that down because that's not what this video is about, but <laughs> let's get back to it. This is my favorite brush. This is the Sigma Flat Top Synthetic Kabuki F80. So this is like the thickest, densest brush you're ever going to lay your eyes on, but it's cut flat across the top, so it really helps to get at a large amount of surface area at one time. That's why it's really, really easy to work with liquid foundation when you're buffing it into your skin. Um, how I apply it, I put the liquid foundation on my hand and then I dip it and start stippling on my face and then I'll buff it out. It's really great for stippling and buffing and it just really is really easy to use. This makes my life a lot easier when I want to use the brush. So that's one of my favorites. The second is actually from the same line, the Precision, not the Precision, the Kabuki or whatever, Synthetic Harris. These are all synthetic by the way. Um, the Sigma Taper Kabuki F86. This one is just as dense as the last one I showed you but taper to a point. I love to contour. I have a really round face and I find that I really need to contour to define the angles and the cheekbones of my face to bring them out. So what I do is I just dip this in some bronzer like on the side. It just like fits right into this little small area here on the cheekbones and it really lets me get a precise cut line right down there and then because I'm able to push it on its side, I can even blend it out so it doesn't look like a streak. Love this for contouring. Another face brush that I love for contouring and for blush is this Large Angle Contour F80 by Sigma. This is a natural hair brush. It's the softest brush. Almost all Sigma brushes are super soft. This one I use for blush. I use it to contour with um, bronzer because it fits right into that area as well. This one, instead of trying to get like a harsh contour, this really does like a nice diffused contour because the bristles, they're splayed out a lot more and they really help to blend out the product. So after I use this brush to deposit the initial contour, I use this one with a little bit more bronzer and to sort of blend it out a bit so it's not so harsh. I rec recommend it to anybody there's that angle that makes it really easy to contour this way or this way or this way whatever way you hold it it'll work for you and it's an amazing little magical magic brush <laughs> you guys should get that the last two brushes are eye brushes I'm gonna show you the last Sigma one it is the blending E25 this brush oh my gosh guys you need to try this brush this is also a natural hair, beautiful white bristles. I have the little baby, baby, baby sample size. I actually got this for free as a gift for spending over $35 on an order. I actually got two as a gift. I haven't even bought it, but I have two because they sent them to me as little freebies. Love that about Sigma. Anyway, this is just so soft. It's just the right amount of splayed for a blending brush. If a blending brush is too splayed out, it then becomes useless for me because it gets really messy when you're trying to blend. Like this one is so useless to me sometimes because this is the E40. It's so puffy and fluffy that I cannot get a precise blend with this brush. But this one, you can really tell how much more smaller it is and it's just more dense, I guess, more compactly packed into the ferrule that it just really lets you diffuse that crease color without getting it all over the place. So, love this for blending love this for blending. Did I say I loved it? Because I love it. The last brush is actually from Lancome. I don't even have a number or name for this brush. It actually came with a um, gift with purchase, um, a Christmas blockbuster set for last Christmas. I talked about it in my haul, my, my uh, birthday haul. 
if you want to see more info about this brush but it's just like a flat brush um, that's fluffy and it's got some give in it so um, there's hardly any fallout when you use it because the stiffer the brush the more fallout you're going to get but this one is nice and soft and it's synthetic hair but it works great as packing down the color if I have like an all over the lid color like um, Satin Taupe by MAC if I just want to use this satin taupe color and sort of sheer it out all over the lid and that's the only shadow that I want to use, this brush is totally perfect to just pick that up, put it all over the lid and then blend it up because it's a little bit fluffy so it lets you have that nice little blended look and I don't even have to use any other brush. This is it, does the job and if I need to apply a highlight, guess what, just flip the bad boy over and apply that highlight and blend it out. Lovely, lovely brush. I reach for this pretty much every day, especially if I'm going to work and I'm on a limited time frame to do makeup. One side all over the lid, flip, the other side highlight, done. Perfecto. Love those brushes. Those are my top five for right now anyway. I will update you if those ever change in the near future. Thanks so much for watching. This is Kyra from Kyra Mioso 29 Do not forget to subscribe to see more videos from me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.